All right, Shalom. I pray to form us. I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto Yahweh. By Hashem, have a shy. By Hashem, have a Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Uh, this will be an um, update dealing with the, the mark of the beast um, and this infrastructure that they're building to implement the mark of the beast, which is the uh, RFID or NFC microchip implant. Or the market chip implant, period. All right. Uh, and, and this will be going into this digital currency, which I did a video on uh, a few days ago, going into China's actually testing out this, this new uh, digital currency. And uh, now the U.S. is doing it as well, as far as these, well, these U.S. companies. All right. So let me get into this. All right. So this is uh, from Forbes.com. It says uh, China's digital currency to be given a test drive by U.S. companies. And this is dated April 23rd, 2020. Uh, the year of prophecy with these prophecies is, um, as we always say, you know, the, the, the prophecies in the Bible are, um, are coming to pass now. So it says uh, China, the country that banned initial coin offerings and made it tough for Bitcoin to operate has been tossing around the idea to build its own digital currency, and some U.S. multinationals are reportedly willing to help roll it out. The South China Morning Post reported today. Okay, so uh, China is testing out this technology, this digital currency. Uh, I, I think it's called the digital yuan, if I'm not mistaken. And um, oh, it's basically a digital version of their own... Their own um, the own currency. Bear me for a second. The own currency. And uh America and these different companies have a big stake in the economy of China. Although, you know, they're going through their their trade war. Although they're going through their trade war, you know, back and forth. Uh they still have certain dealings, okay? Um, so let me continue reading. It says, now Starbucks, McDonald's, and Subway chains in China were named on the People's Bank of China's list of firms that would test the national digital currency in the near future. So if these digital, if these digital currencies are going to be tested by these American companies, then you know that they're going to test out their digital currency over here. And you're going to see a lot more... Um, Infrastructure for using Bitcoin and uh, other digital or cryptocurrencies uh, being uh, implemented in these different stores, you know. So it says a digital currency is a generic term that may or may not be a cryptocurrency. Cryptos are decentralized by design and also used for their privacy, something that is anathema to the Chinese government. You know, and that that word anathema is a Greek word. All right, you can uh, find that in the scriptures. Um, anathema, anathema, maranatha. You know, you know, which a lot of Christians, you know, they uh, they use that that term a lot. Um, Which is uh, what was that First Corinthians, and it basically goes up to be uh, being cursed, you know. So this uh, this 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 you know these cryptos are something that these uh, central bank digital currencies are are really interested in, you know, or they want to create their own. But anyway, so it says this particular currency, once referred to as a digital yuan, yep, will also be given a test. Um, <clears throat> In Chinese hotels, convenience stores, a bakery, a bookstore, and a gym in the Zhongan New Area, a city being built south of Beijing. No date for the release has been set. China has been talking about this for at least a year now, and it's unclear how those three U.S. brands were chosen, but it was a local design to include those local franchises. This is not for McDonald's nationwide and the mainland. So, yeah, so they have to test these things out. And um, as these um, 
uh, these digital currencies are are being more and more uh, utilized into the different um, payment payment um the different payment um. <clears throat> what am I trying to say? But basically, then once these digital currencies are are being able to use more worldwide, then they're going to start to actually really use them more and more widespread around the world in America, um, America as well. Um, so let's see here. So it says uh, on April twentieth, the the Wall Street Journal reported that the digital currency rollout will happen outside of the Xiangyang new area and also be test driven in Shenzhen and Chengdu. China's estimated 890 million unique mobile payment users made transactions totaling around $20 trillion in 2019. The number of people making mobile merchant payments is expected to rise from around 577 million last year to an estimated 700 million in 2022. So, yeah, so the market of beats, the buying and selling uh, that it talks about in Revelation 13, uh, that's... um, that infrastructure is being set up now. So it's easy to see how the microchip, the, the microchip implant is going to be used uh, to fulfill that, that scripture. Okay? I mean, it's, it's right before our eyes. We're seeing, you know, we're seeing uh, the world turn from these paper currencies and coins and things like that, and they're implementing more and more of a digital infrastructure. You know, um, it says China's government government move into digital payments will potentially be a competitor to Alipay, which is privately owned. Though for now, the government does not seem to have any plans to roll out a payments platform or a blockchain for those transactions. Uh, worth noting, over the last 20 years, from the onset of China's interest into the World Trade Organization, the country went from a poor cash based society to a highly innovative economy with a global urban middle class in some key cities that are all plugged into the internet. So, so we're seeing China, um, you know, really be, I can see China, I agree with the Apostle Otar, that I can see China being one of the first countries to introduce the mark of the beast for buying and selling, as it says in Revelation 13. You know, they're ruling out their microchip implant because the people are already geared to using this stuff. You know? Um... It says here, well, let me see. It says China has been able to build its digital payments ecosystem on the backbone of its existing financial infrastructure in the form of bank accounts and bank cards and clearing and settlement systems, said CGAP, a think tank that helps bring financial services to low-income countries. Both Alipay and WeChat Pay are considered third-party payment companies, which highlights their reliance on an underlying bank account. It says the second factor that sets up China for widespread digital currency use is smartphone ownership, including in rural areas. So they want to roll this system out all over the country. okay? And eventually uh, 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 that system is going to be used all around the world in these different in the U.S. and Europe and other places, especially in Europe and the U.S. okay? because that's the beast, you know. Um, so, yeah, so we're seeing the uh, beginning stages of the market of the beast system being uh, pushed out here in a major way. You know, you Israelites, you know, you got to wake up, man. You different Israelite groups outside of Great Millstone, you know, uh, you got to wake out, wake up. You know, if, if you're members, if you members out there, if, you, if you're seeing, if you can see this, then leave that group, man, because they're not the prophets of the Lord. You know, the Most High has always been dealing with GMS on this, and it's coming to a time to where uh, all of our faiths are going to be tested, um, pursuing the, uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture. You know, Revelation, let's go to... Revelation, the third chapter, come on now. Revelation 3, all right? The Hour of Temptation. So this is Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, which is the whole earth, 
to try them that dwell upon the earth. And that's going to be during the time that they implement the mark of the beast, the microchip implant. And you're going to be tested on your patience and your faith uh, um, and, 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 you know, whether they're going to take it or not, you know. So wake up, man. You know, we're in that time and we're in the time that, that things are, are are coming to pass quickly, you know. Uh, but, uh, but with that, I'm going to end it there. Our praises, our glory, and our honors go to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.